4.2 and determine what we used to do when I had an angle. So I was giving you guys tangent of 300 degrees. And what I want you to do is I want you to find the tangent value of that. So first thing we did, we talked about, ladies and gentlemen, the first thing you have to do, and I wrote this down. Maybe if you didn't write it down in your notes, you can write it down again. The first thing you guys want to do is sketch the angle. Okay, Forget about the tangent. Let's just figure out where the angle was. So remember we talked about sketching this angle. Remember we always start on our initial side. And then I'm going to go all the way around in the positive direction. Since it's positive, I go counterclockwise. Okay, so there's my kind of, well, let me just do the angle first. So where is 300 degrees? Well, we know that here to here is 90, here to here is 180, here to here is 270. So all I need to go is an extra 30 degrees, right, to get to 300. So if I say from here to here is 30 degrees, that means from there to there is roughly 60, right? Theta, which equals 300. OK. Now, so once you sketched your angle, right, we started here and we go to there. Then the next thing we were supposed to do is draw kind of like the unit circle. Because we need to determine, if I want to find the tangent, we need to determine what is that coordinate point. So I'm going to draw my unit circle. And ladies and gentlemen, what we want to do is we want to figure out what is that coordinate point. So what we did was we looked at, remember we talked about our unit circle. I told you guys you have to know your unit circle. And the main important points is if you know these three coordinate points, what you can do is kind of reflect them, right? Remember, you know these three coordinate points, so you can reflect them over the y-axis, over the x-axis, and over the xy. So what we did is we say, what is the reflection for this point? Well, since this is 60 degrees down from the x-axis, you could also say that it's 60 degrees up. So it's a reflection of this point, which was 1 half comma square root of 3 over 2. Therefore, by knowing my unit circle, I also know that this point, or if I just filled out the unit circle you know, and I figured it out, I would know that this one is going to be 1 half comma negative square root of 3 over 2. Right? So therefore, we'd say the tangent of 300 degrees is equal to y over x. So it'd be negative square root of 3 over 2 divided by 1 half where when we go and simplify, we get negative square root of 3. Okay, That's our answer. Now, so you might say, OK, I kind of get that. But where does the reference angles come in? And why do we need to know reference angles? Ladies and gentlemen, this kind of took a little bit of effort for me. right? I had to go ahead and figure out the graph. right? Then, not even so much of the graph, I don't always remember the unit circle. I forget. I couldn't remember 30, 60. What is this a reflection of? So let's pretend we wanted to do the reference angle. This is in the third quadrant, yes? So the definition of a reference angle, in, I'm sorry, it's in the fourth quadrant. Definition of a reference angle in the fourth quadrant is theta prime equals 360 minus theta. My theta in this example is 300. So therefore, theta prime equals 360 minus 300. Theta prime equals 60. Now, ladies and gentlemen, when determining the reference angles, you can, determine, you can evaluate an angle um, for its reference angle, and you're going to get the same value. What is tangent of 60 degrees? Well, if I think back to my first quadrant, the tangent of 60 degrees is that 1 half um, over square root of 3 over 2. Minus my 60, 3 or 60. <clears throat> so you have your tangent, um, which is going to be tangent of 60, which is going to be square root of 3 over 2, comma, 1 half. I messed it up, I'm sorry. Hmm. 
Hmm, there's something else I'm missing on there.